Hi, I'm Lorraine from Apt Speech Therapy. Do you work with older children or young adults who have social communication difficulties? Do you need resources to work on the ability to understand the perspectives of others and make socially appropriate comments in different situations? Well, if you do, stay tuned because I'm going to show you a really helpful resource. It's the Empathy Fix app. The first activity in Empathy Picks is Emotions and Situations. It works on the ability to understand the feelings of others and see things from another perspective. Let's take a look. This activity has lots of different pictures and each picture has five questions. The first question asks the user to describe what they see in the picture. The second question asks the user to identify how the other person is feeling. The next question asks the user how they would feel in the same situation. The fourth question asks the user what they would do in the same situation. And the final question asks the user to talk about a similar situation that has happened to them. Let's take a look at another picture and the questions. What do you see in the picture? How do you think Michael felt when he lost the race? How would you feel if you lost a race? What would you do in Michael's situation? Have you ever been in a similar situation? Tell me about it. You can see that the questions are adapted for each picture, but they follow the same pattern. The next activity in Empathy Picks is showing concern. This activity works on the ability to make socially appropriate comments in different situations, the user is given a scenario and they are asked what they could say to show concern, show interest or to give reassurance. If the user has difficulty thinking of an appropriate comment on their own, they can choose from the three multiple choice options. Let's take a look at this scenario. Kate has been in a car crash. Her car and the other driver's car are quite badly damaged. Nobody was hurt in the crash. What could you say to make her feel better? And our options are... You should drive more carefully. You must be a bad driver. Oh, that's awful. At least nobody was hurt. So the most appropriate response in this situation would be the last one. Let's take a look at another scenario. Sally and Brad have just moved into a new home. They are very happy and excited. What could you say to show you are pleased for them? And our options are, I don't want to move home. Congratulations on your new home, and why would you move home? So our middle answer is the most appropriate response. At the end, you get a result summary. You can email this straight away, or you can access it at a later date by going into the user's profile. Let's take a little look at settings. I'm gonna go into Lorraine, that's my profile, and you can see all of my past results. If I go back into settings, I'll show you the picture list. And when you're in the picture list, you can select and deselect the pictures that you want to include in both activities. Back in settings, you can choose for the questions to be spoken aloud automatically. You can adjust the number of trials and you can also change the voice speeds. If you are using Empathy Picks on an iPhone or an iPad, it will be best to download an enhanced iOS voice on your device, because if you do so, the voice that the app will use will be of the best quality. Thank you for watching this app demo video of Empathy Picks. If you have any questions, please get in touch.